So today we're going to watch the full and complete sparring session between Sean Strickland and Sneeko. Before you watch the video, I just want to give you some context behind it. Number one, this was an organized sparring session at the UFC PI. Number two, UFC staff and security attended to make sure nothing got too crazy. Number three, Sneeko had professional fighters in his corner. Fighters such as Jake Shields, the Bash Rap Brothers and Bilal Muhammad were advising Sneeko before and after the sparring session. Number four, Sneeko was examined by UFC doctors immediately after the sparring session which we'll get to later. But first, let's watch the footage of Strickland versus Sneeko. Yo, so Sean, how did this happen? What are we doing right now? How many rounds? What's going on? I'm sure he's involved. He's too loud. You just tell. He's not okay. okay. I'm trying to tell him to light him. He's completely ignoring me. So I'm like, all right. But now he kind of has to, otherwise he's going to look dumb because it's obviously too hard. Now he has to fog him up. Pearl asked me if I would meet up with you, and I said, well, if he wants to meet up, I'd spar him. So he agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, bro. I got you. Hey, listen, this is not an MMA fight, so if you drop him, you can't follow yeah. up with punches. You that, is actually sad. that is actually the sad thing about boxing. Wait, so Sean, do I earn the podcast now? Uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Come on, let's make it three rounds, huh? Three five. Let's see the influencer. Let's see the influencer. Come on, bro. You're going to be a fucking man? Let's be the... Let's see the influencer. Arthur. Arthur. So you better if you knock me out how cool that would look for your uh, you can actually accomplish something by doing nothing. <laughs> Sit down on the hook, Nico. I hit the bar. You know, as this rap progresses, it's like, you know, it works for you. Double up the fights. We got four minutes. As we get closer to the three minute mark, you're about to feel significantly more about a pain. They should be setting it in right now that nothing you can do can hurt me. And this is a moment that as you're realizing, you're about to have a really bad fucking day in the next minute. There you go, 90 seconds in. Here we go, bro. You're doing so good. I'm worried about you, Mike. I'm back in this zone, Mike. Don't wait for it. Here's this moment you're realizing that you cannot hurt me. Go grab the mic. Good work. No way, no way. It's coming. You're a very tough influencer. Three minutes left. Is it set in yet that you're about to get hurt? No, you're good. <laughs> oh. Two minutes. <laughs> In your brain. Halfway. Did you think this is how it was gonna go? Halfway. Nico is not doing bad. Let's go. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's not a problem. Oh. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh. Good work. Let that right hand go. What time we have? Two minutes. Two minutes. I want to enjoy this a little bit longer. Let that right hand go, Nico. There you go. 
as we saw there, Snake was boxing, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I've seen some UFC fighters with worse striking than that, but it was not too bad. But as you can see there, Snake started to rock Sean Strickland a couple of times. He actually snapped Strickland's head back a couple of times there. Now, for this sparring session, I think the agreement was that Strickland would give Snake about three to four minutes to do what he wanted and go soft on him. And then for the last minute, Strickland was just going to open up and start throwing bombs. And this is the point Strickland says, F this, and Strickland just opens up and starts throwing bombs. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Jesus. You still good. That's a Oh, yeah. You didn't fall down, Sneeko. Yeah. You didn't fall down. Yeah, that's good work. Good graphics and heavy shots, man. But afterwards, Strickland and Sneeko actually showed respect to each other. There was no malicious intent. As I said, this was an agreed and mutual respectful sparring session. It's just unfortunate that Sneeko ended up getting his nose busted up in the process. Now, afterwards, not really too much goes on here. There's just a little bit of banter. And then Sneeko leaves and actually goes for a medical examination with the UFC doctors. Now, just before that, Sneeko actually had a conversation with Bilal Muhammad. Bilal did actually pay respect to Sneeko, though, and said that Sneeko had a good chin. And Sneeko actually showed that he's quite a knowledgeable UFC fan as well. He actually said to Bilal, he's been following Bilal's career, and he said that he knows Bilal deserves the next title shot. So it was kind of cool to see that as well. I do. How you feeling? How's it nose? Feel good, yeah. Yeah, big. There's, there's guys you do it with, and there's guys that are airheads that are like slow, that don't understand it, they want to just make like a, try to make you look stupid. But like, oh, okay. Sean Strickland's one of those guys that wants to make you look stupid. So what did you think overall? What, what should I work on the most? Like, I mean, we all know Sean got pillow hands, but <laughs> you also got a chin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Biggest thing, biggest game, thing in this game is heart, right? You had heart. Yeah, you didn't fall, you didn't fall. Anything technical you notice? I mean, crossing the feet, little things just, Lo loosening up your body a little bit with it. Stiffness. You're longer, yeah. So uh, use your jabs more, play with it a little bit more, using your distance, because you're, you're a bigger kid. So get in that ring ownership. When the guy's walking forward, you put his hands down. It's like, all right, you gotta make him not wanna walk forward anymore. So you gotta hit him with a hard one too, to the face. Yeah, so, but I know he's just laughing at you and like you don't think that anything's nah. gonna hurt him. Have you sparred him before? Huh? Have you sparred uh, Sean nah, before? I'm a street fighter. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like him at all. You, you, you never, oh, because why? I don't like him, no, he's just, uh, Piece of trash, like human being, so yeah. yeah. So I don't get along with him. You guys have like personal. We have beef, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that. Nah, you're good, bro. <laughs> I had no idea. Nah, you're My bad. Good. Nah, you're good, brother. Hey, but I'm looking forward to seeing your title fight, man. It says, well, yeah. I want to talk to you about that on the stream. I don't know if you, but yeah, man, they're, they're, they're snubbing you. Like, yeah. you, you deserve you deserve the most, man. You deserve that title shot 100%. You can see yeah. your career path. Everybody knows it. No, nah, like, yeah, it's. And for people like you say it, it means a lot. Cause, yeah. Like you said, the world needs to hear it. So now it's, it's coming. We've got to be patient now. Finally, so they should be here soon. Inshallah, we'll find it. But then probably this week or next week. Yeah. Good luck, man. Thank you. Good bro. luck. Wish all Thank success you. to you. Thank you, bro. Yeah, so that was a cool interaction. That kind of shows that Sneeko is not just a Troy actually is knowledgeable out that you have seen. It was cool to see that interaction as well. Obviously, Bilal said that he thinks Sneeko is tough. He's got a chin and he showed some good skills, but obviously he's going to say that because he's biased towards Sean Strickland and anybody against Sean Strickland, Bilal's going to support. But anyway, now we're going to get to the last part, which is where Sneeko goes downstairs and has an examination with the UFC doctors. Sneeko actually goes downstairs to see the UFC doctors, but just before he goes in the examination room, he goes in the toilet and he he looks in the mirror and he says that one of his contact lenses got stuck inside of his eyeball. He had contact lenses in when he was sparring Sean Strickland. The doctor told him, you're not supposed to wear contact lenses when you're sparring. This is a crazy facility in here. Yeah, this is the first time coming through? First time coming through. Coming through? Yeah, yeah first quite First time a... doing any MMA or what? Uh, well, we didn't do MMA, we just boxed. Just boxed? Okay. Yeah, just some light, you know. A little, a little something light. A little yeah. friendly sparring. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Have you trained anything before? Uh, yeah, a couple of months of boxing. A couple months of boxing. Exactly. I'm going to take my first fight this year. That eye has the contact in. Oh, that one has it in. Yeah, this, okay. the one on the right doesn't. Say, well, good, because it looks like it's Yeah, in. no, it's in, it's in, it's in. It's in. I guess I was watching you in the mirror. So it was all backwards. Okay, look down for me. Yeah. Look down and out. Look down and in. 
I don't see anything. Do you you don't feel anything now? Is nah, I feel like it's gone. So I hope it's not in the back of my eye. Okay. Do you know if I have I to? I think you would feel that. If it's, it's in the back of my eye. The back in the eye. Yeah. You would feel it if it was in the back of your eye. So I it's, got some eye drops too. I brought some eye drops in. I don't know if that's gonna help. I think it's just probably in the ring. I, I, like, I hope so. Okay. I hope so. I mean, that's what usually happens when I spar. Like, and I get hit, there it just pops out. Okay. So. I th other than that, man, uh, I'm good to go, man. I'm ready to hit some pads and stuff. All right. Is your nose good? Does he have it smells like blood, but I mean, like, I'm fine. Can yeah. Is there like a CTE check or something you should do? <laughs> no. no. No, you can't diagnose CTE until you're dead. So oh. you can do a concussion check. But can we do that? You, headache? A, um, I'm not sure. Not sure? Like, it's, I'm like, my adrenaline's kind of like just jumping right now. I'm not really sure. Okay. Dizzy? I don't think so. Nauseous? No. Okay. Feeling like you're in a fog? No, nah, I feel good. I feel good. Should I like do a drunk driving thing or something? I'm good. Okay. What, what do they usually do after UFC fights when they get... Um... So usually after the fight, they go to a hospital and they get a, a CAT scan to make sure there's no active brain bleed. Do you mind if I spit some blood here? Yeah, no, go ahead. How do I look though? Do you, do you think I'm fine? Like, no, like you know, man to man? You're, you're, you're talking to me pretty yeah. well. Um, you seem to know where you're at. I guess maybe you don't know what year it is, but <laughs> but yeah, I, from from this quick assessment, I would say that you're all right. We're good to go. All right. No prostate no check. Point. No prostate check. Let me check prostate. yours. No. All right. Next time, buddy. Next time, buddy. Yeah? Next time. Next time, buddy. You gotta take me to dinner. Oh man. <laughs> So yeah, all in all, I think it was a good experience for Sneeko because he is obviously, he said he's been training in boxing for a few months now and he's looking to compete in his first professional fight. He called Sean Strickland in to get some experience in sparring and boxing. So it looks like he got some experience. He doesn't seem to be too injured or he didn't seem to get hurt or sustain too much damage. And I think it was actually beneficial for him to go in that sparring session because now he actually understands what it feels like to go toe to toe with a real striker and get punched in the face. And he might actually think twice about fighting and now anyway give me your thoughts in the comments about the sparring session between sean strickland and sneak on